the final of the movies. Got a giant box of popcorn, get an icy, uh, cherry icy. Um, and we just laughed out loud at that movie. Um, after that, there was a stop at the photo booth. And uh, funny enough, I still have this group of photos. And I look at it often. It makes me smile. <laughs> uh, I remember a trip to Fiesta, Texas. Uh, we went to San Antonio. She loved roller coasters. She's got uh, water slides. We spent that entire day, and she ran me ragged. There were pictures of that day that I still have. She was worn out at the end of it all, a little bit of red, uh, but she still managed a big smile and I got the best hug and a thank you for taking her to play. So, all that said, Megan, uh, I'm going to choose to focus on the grand adventure that's yet to come. Uh, I'll take memories of you with me into that adventure and someday, uh, if I'm fortunate enough, I get to see you again. And, Everyone else here, you know, until that day, choose to have your own adventure and take your happy thoughts with you. Uh, you'll be welcome. Hi, um, my name is Michaela. Um, a lot of you probably don't know who I am because I was a long distance friend of Megan's. Um, <laughs> never met in person, sadly. Um, we actually met through my now husband when he took her to prom, um, in 2018, I believe. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, took her to prom. Uh, we were kind of jealous of each other at first because I had a little bit of thing with Colby <laughs> and then he took her to prom. Um, but it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, and then a few months later, when he did something, um, I had messaged Megan, and our friendship actually started out by talking a little smack about my now husband. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's just how our friendship started. We didn't do that a lot, I promise. Um, from there, it kind of just blossomed into me being there for her. In hard times, um, her being there for me definitely a lot. Um, I know some people <laughs> are too fond of long distance friends, um, but we really did help each other a lot. That's my nephew in the background, sorry if you hear him. <laughs> um, we helped each other a lot, and she was very funny very funny person um always made me laugh and she always told me how i always knew how to make her laugh whenever she was upset um oh sorry i just <laughs> this pretty hard <laughs> um we would send each other memes a lot <laughs> that was a lot of our communication really yeah. well not a lot but um I remember she would, well, she had sent me pictures of notes her therapist um, took, uh, saying that like a good zone is to treat memes with me <laughs> and like talk to me. So that definitely made me feel good. Um, yeah, um, very very funny, very sweet. Um, I really do. In the heart with her, definitely. But I can always, I guess, kind of feel her around. Um, it's, it's good to know that she's always here with me, and of course, everyone else. <laughs> um, always here with us, no matter what, even if we can't see her. She's definitely here with us. Um, thank you all for coming out, supporting her, celebrating her mother. I 
think we know a lot more about Megan was not always on the front. It was behind things that she did with other people that we never knew about, and they did for her. So that's it. I'm going to expedite a couple things. I want to do a blessing for the food, and I want you to do this for me. Your birthday, be the 7th, 31st, 32nd, whatever it is, I want you to call Robin. On your birthday, call her. Okay, can you do that for me? Let her know that she's not forgotten and we still love her and she's going to be with part of us. And tell her kind words. For life will go on. We have had the blessing of knowing Megan and we will have her in our hearts and minds. I ask you right now to give me one word that describes Megan Martin. One word. Soulful. Soulful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Precious. Precious. Angel. Angel. Happy. Happy. Loving. Loving. Caring. Genuine. Genuine. How about gentle? How about genuine? A friend? Give me another word. Inspired. Inspired. Oh, that's a good one. One more? Lively. Funny? Lively. Lively. Well, there you go. Yeah. Megan was that and every other word you just mentioned. And as long as you remember Megan and think of those words and think of her smile and think of her rambunctiousness and her gentleness and her kindness, she will be with us forever. As long as that memory is in our mind and her love for her her is in our heart, she will be there. She won't be gone. So keep that in mind. This is a celebration. It's not a good thing that she's gone, but how happy are you that you knew Megan Martin? The gentleman that received the kidney. What does that just make the hair on the back of your neck stand up? And she chose as a young girl to sign those organ transplant papers. What an adult thing to do. And if people say, well, I couldn't do it, it's too yucky. Get off your yuckiness. And remember, she just saved that man's life by giving the ultimate price of her body. She may be gone, but she's not gonna be forgotten. We're gonna remember that smile, that mischievous smile Stop it at Chick-fil-A, stop it at Sonic, and have it a boil. As long as you remember those things, Megan Mark will be in your heart. I want to thank everyone that's been a part of this activity, from the sound to the lights to the food to everything that's been going on. I'm going to offer a prayer, and it will also cover the food we're about to receive. Let us pray. Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the blessings of life and family and freedom and the privilege of knowing Megan, for she was special indeed. We ask your gracious arms of love and mercy to protect the family and friends who are here today. As we go forward, we will climb from this valley and we will get back to the mountaintop, for that is where she is now. Father, bless this food we're about to receive. Bless the hands that harvested it Bless the hands that prepared it. And Father, Lord, bless those who have no food at all today. As we move forward, let us be moved by your love. Let us be comforted by your grace and know that tomorrow will be better than today. We ask all these things in your son's name. Amen. 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 I know this has gone on for a while, but I want y'all to know, so the crawfish, Let's eat. And then on the table over here, we have some trinkets, whether you want to call them bracelets, anklets, something to hang on your mirror, key ring that have Megan's name and an angel and a butterfly. We've got them on little trees on this table, and we want you to have them. And there's also pins for Su Suicide Prevention Month, or Suicide Awareness, I'm not sure, that, that a friend made, and it has Megan's name on it. And we would like you to take these things. And if you don't have time to sit here and eat, take some with you. Because we've bought a lot. 
and uh, also the little jars with the fairy lights that have Megan's name. Those are also for you to take home and, and have a little light in your house and just remember how fragile life is and how we got to love our kids and hug them all the time. So big hug to all of you. I appreciate all of you coming. I really, words just can't express it. And I do know that every one of you here, I can call in the middle of the night and you will listen for me. And that means a lot to me. So I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming and get your crawfish on. <laughs>